Greetings. This is Serene Rivers. You are in Black Samurai Heaven. And here, we ain't waiting on nobody to save us. We study, apply ourselves, and do shit for ourselves. <laughs> and I get an amen. So, I'm just here today because um, something has been on my heart. You know, I've been in the Bay Area since the end of 2012. And the level of competition and striving that I've seen here are like nothing that I've seen anywhere else. Um, people will be in multi six figure homes, still feeling that they need a lot more money and still devoting so much time and energy, taking time and energy away from their families and their striving to get more money, even though they're in a multi six figure, you know, home, you know, like they make 300,000 plus, you know, in a home. Okay. You know, per household. Um, and one of the things that's got me thinking about, even for myself, is I'm striving to make advances in my my musical career and my businesses overall. Is that maybe I should create what I call a no strive point. A point where I'm not trying to just get more followers or make more money. A point where it's like, you know what? Once I get here, it's enough. That's enough striving. And now my focus can just be on more abundance, more joy, more love, more peace. That once I get to a certain level where my needs are met comfortably, that I just shut off striving in every other single area. So I'm not allowing this never ending desire for more in all areas of life to drive me and take me away from what is the most important things in my life. What are the most important things in my life? And for me, I feel like once your needs are met, you know, once your needs are comfortably met, that you know, and then some, you know, you can put some aside to say blah, 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 but maybe a cap there. And then at that point, from that point forward, let me focus on doing things that are of service only. Let me focus on doing things that bring me joy. Let me focus on doing things that will contribute to my healing instead of just trying to get more money or just trying to get more followers um, because all of these things are vanity beside, you know, beyond a certain point is vanity. So I want to ask you, do you think this is something that will be useful for you in your life? What do you think it would do in your life if you had a no strive point? Like a point that once you get there, you like, you know what? Now, instead of me trying to get more of money, more followers, more likes or whatever it is, that my only goal is to experience more joy, experience more love, experience more peace, spend more time with my loved ones, with my family, and provide people with services that are going to be useful and valuable. And if more money comes as a result of that, great. If more followers come as a result of that, then great. But I'm not going to let that be a part of my goals anymore. That I've taken the pursuit of more income out of my goals. As I continue to say, you know, be responsible. But... I've taken that out of my goals. I've taken the desire to have more followers out of my, my, my list of goals. And now I just, 
I'm at a, in a non-striving position. So that's just something that really came up for me as I was doing some meditating and ritual work for this full moon that we have now in Scorpio. And the ancestors just said to me, the great mother spoke over, over me, and to me, and just basically said that, honey, you've, you've reached that, that you are at the no strive point. Then now it's just about more love, more peace, more joy, bringing greater service. It's not about chasing more dollars, chasing more followers. No, at this point, enough. So I love you all very much. I hope that this um, has brought something to somebody, helped you to renew your perspective on what you are pursuing in life. Uh, that's it so until next time tune in you can follow me on as i just said all that anyway <laughs> my goal is to bring more peace and love and, and be of greater service um i as serene rivers my brand i stand for helping to prepare people um for the fall of oppressive systems because right now i don't think we're ready we are not ready um, so it's to prepare us for the fall of, of oppressive systems and also to inspire us to take care of our own, to be responsible for our own health and healing. I made goddess music for the spiritual revolution and evolution. And you can follow me at Serene Rivers Music on Instagram. You can follow me at Serene Rivers on YouTube. You can follow me at Serene Rivers <laughs> Music on Facebook. I love you all. Peace.